Alrighty, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, we finished episode one last time. So yeah, let's get right into episode two. <clears throat> Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. Well, I mean, I didn't mean it in that kind of situation, obviously, but... He did aim for the head. Nice. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said I can have some. I didn't steal it. I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You're putting it in hot water. <laughs> You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin. I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. Yeah. But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? <clears throat> I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He... Lewis was right. Oh. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? You 
locks Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. How the fuck are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. Or Lee May. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Nice. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be <laughs> afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. <laughs> then, there were all kinds of rules. About who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. Oh, come on. But she's right. So is everyone. I didn't say that. I just said it was wrong. Okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. Vile started soon. See you out there. Well. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Damn. I mean, you know, I'd drink some coffee if I was there, man. I haven't had it for a long time, she said. Damn, that's all I'll do. All right.
All right. I, yeah, I guess we're ready. Ready? <clears throat> Attend the funeral. Yeah, I didn't want Marlon to die, dude. That kind of sucks. She kind of like them. I did that. Come on. Come on, AJ. Anything else? I don't see you coming up with any brilliant ideas. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlon... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more if they died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlon. Yeah, they did. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. We all knew they couldn't. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals too. Even monsters. Marlon did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. I know. Ted, you ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, he was, he was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie Whoa. and to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. They take a vote. Majority mm. decides. They stay or they leave. All right. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Alrighty. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Damn. 
Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, <clears throat> let's go. Nice, all right, the intro. Oh, it's the same one, all right, cool. Pretty cool, though. I just what is that big building on the left there? I'd never noticed that in the school. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. Damn. Stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here. Sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think... And we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, <laughs> huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. All right. We took the vote. You have to leave. Oh, nice. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. 
Good, because I don't. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What'll help me sleep at night is knowing you two are gone. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I will escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them. It's, it's <laughs> their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Damn. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. It's yours, no. AJ. You should keep it. Especially if they're kicking us out, dude. But Fuck I'm you, Lewis. With it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Exactly. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't think they were actually going to kick us out. All right. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have yeah, no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I don't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. <laughs> just stay safe. Both of you. Yes, sir. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Damn. 
Damn. Let's get going. Is that it? Well set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. <clears throat> oh, way. There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. <laughs> you haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. I'll find some place new. Some place better. I'll try not to mess it up. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. Is that... Who is that? It is him, bro. Saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive. Mm -mm. Cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. Itch. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Mm-mm, don't grab it. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh. Not good. Boy, any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel, good to see you again, Squirt. Don't oh, damn. I've seen these ones before. Fighters, both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid, runs a community near here. Marlon, <sighs> he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back <laughs> to your school? Help us talk to your friends? Oh, it's not shit. like you have many other options. If I go back, they'll kill me. And him. And probably both of you. She's lying. Has to be. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... <laughs> my name is Lily. Probably don't remember me. I think Lily? Yeah, from the first season, yeah. I thought you died. I came close. Oh, she's the one we ditched from the Damn. RV. Not now. The fuck is this? I said not now. Yeah, she's the one that we ditched in the RV after she killed uh, the other woman. with you so he's dead then I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die <laughs> I don't blame him I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl Clark. yeah yeah Lee should have left you behind too might have lived longer if he did same thing will happen to you <laughs> if you repeat his mistakes damn your little boy there You'll die protecting him. You Maybe. may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. 
but we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot! Itch. <laughs> ah, no! Oh no. <laughs> what is happening, man? Lord. Oh, I almost missed that. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit, it is right. Oh no. No. Shit. What is happening? Everything is happening way too fast right now. Sounds like they're behind me, too. All right. When did he get shot? No. Stop. Too loud. What just what is happening? <clears throat> what the fuck? What's that? Follow. 
All right, that's creepy. I am going to end it off there, though, on a cliffhanger. <laughs> um, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.